Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to discuss how to calculate I. Now our standard formula is A is equal to P into 1 plus I to the power of N. Now you had done this last year in grade 10. Right, but when you had done it last year, you would notice that even though it is done last year, it's not always asked as often. So if I gave you our standard pane and I told you that the amount was maybe 2000, the final amount was 4000 and he invested for three years. But then I say something like it was compounded monthly. So now we know N immediately changes to 3 times 12 and our interest rate, whatever it is, is going to be divided by 12. The method is still the same. You substitute what you have. We're going to put our interest and it's going to be to the power of 36. Then we're going to divide by 2000. Now this is your algebra and we had discussed it in the grade 10 summary. We had also discussed it in the entire grade 10 syllabus. Once you do that, it's algebra. So I have 2 is equal to 1 plus i to the power of 36. How do I get rid of this 36? I 36 root. But what I do on one side, I do on the other side. So I have 1 plus i is equal to 1, 1,019,44. Four. Notice again that I'm going more than normal because it is financial maths. Then we're going to subtract 1 by taking the 1 over. Right, but now if you remember your I, I would have been what? It would have been our interest amount over 100 divided by 12. So this interest amount, 0, 0,01944, is going to equal to our interest amount over 100 divided by 12. Again, it's math. So we are now going to times by 12. At all times, try and keep the answer in your calculator so that you know you're not rounding off too early and you are working with the correct decimal features. So if we times it by 12, we're going to have 0, 0,23328 is equal to our interest over 100. Now we're going to times it by 100. And your final answer will be 23,33%. So our interest rate was 23,33%. Now remember, you would have done this last year until this stage, where you would have simply times by 100. This effect here, where we start changing or dividing by 12, that is grade 11 work. Thank you for watching.